Hey guys, Tough Thumbs here. So I'm going to be showing my toads. Uh, some of them, uh, mostly every single one of them isn't finished, uh, but they're to a point where I'm going to show them the way they are. Uh, so, you know, when they're on the site, they'll all be perfect. But basically a lot of them I had to take the finishes off of them, uh, the acid wash because of the scratches. I do fix the tolerances on some of them. Uh, you know, I learned my lesson. I forgot to ream some of the holes. Uh, that was pretty much my problem along with some countersinking issues. I, I don't know how that happened, but I just got a little lazy, I guess, someday or something. But, uh, you know, some of them are pretty bad. There's like three that are just, you know, rubbing like crazy still. The rest of them are smooth. They just need to be refinished. So I figured I'd show them off now, and, uh, you know, when you get them, you see them in, in the best uh, condition. That's, no, that, that, that comes with that. <laughs> oh, does it? <laughs> I'm going to show my favorite first, guys, because I'm really happy with this one. And like I said, you know, the blade, this one's going to be satin. Um, but as you can see, the blade is not in focus. See, the blade's got that little bit of tarnish on it there, but that's going to be redone. Uh, this one is titanium. It's the only titanium one in this run, but it's also got carbon fiber, uh, so it is a uh, orange peeled. Yeah, it's like a hybrid orange peeled titanium. Uh, and the first time I really used my mill for anything uh, that I think had a good result, uh, I basically milled the tie down, the little lip there, and just put the little inlay of uh, carbon fiber on there. And you got the uh, black screws, black hardware, you got satin down here, kind of for a good contrast there, like a little yin-yang thing. Uh, and this one is the uh, is a hollow grind and orange peel. Well, this isn't orange peeled yet. As you can see, it's just uh, just just ground. Uh, but the hollow grind on these things is just super sexy. I'm not a huge fan of hollow grinds, but on this knife it's definitely fine because you're not going to be doing anything other than opening boxes and maybe, uh, I don't even know. But the spine on this guy, along with a few others, is uh, it's not rounded, but it's, it's, it's uh, beveled heavily on both sides and kind of like softened up, uh, which is really clean looking. It came in real deep right here and on the other side as well. It's super comfy feels really good. This is my favorite one so far. And it's super smooth like the rest of them now. So this one's going to be a satin blade just like it is. Just a little bit better finish on there. So that's my favorite right there. Really sweet. Uh, next one, this one. Uh, just as more your standard. This one is going to have the acid wash on this side. It's satin right now. Of course, it's got the dragon spine looking thing on here. Uh, and this one has got the uh, green, the aged green, like antique look to it, uh, with the bronze around the edges and everything. Stone wash, it's all bronze in the stone wash areas. And a nice stone wash on here, looks really good. Nice and chisel ground. It's kind of got like a little like uh, scale spine there. Hanzo back, or rock backspace around that one. Another hollow grind one. This is one of the only ones with a pattern on the tie side. It's got the natural pattern. It's got that gorgeous hollow grind on it. Uh, nice unidirectional on this side. Natural pattern. It's got that same... And the backspacer, probably not going to be this backspacer on it. Probably going to be like smooth like this one. Uh, we'll see. I can, mix, I can mix match all of them. They all kind of fit together. So if you and your friends have them, you can swap blades and scales and stuff. <laughs> You know, collect them all, guys. Collect them all. They're very cheap to buy. Uh, next up, what we got here? We got, uh, this is more like what you'll see for most of them. Uh, nice carbon fiber. This is the F117 carbon fiber. It's a little nicer. Natural pattern. Uh, kind of got, this one doesn't have a pattern on it yet, the backspacer. Anzo pattern there. Nice bronzing. Uh, it's like a lighter bronze. Uh, more my, uh, my heat treatment I do on it. And uh, it's very clean, super smooth, black hardware. They all have black hardware. I kind of thought that'd be pretty cool to match the tie or match the uh, carbon fiber. Another one of my favorites. This one, Advance is liking a lot, and I'm liking it too. This is uh, one of the few that I did actually did a V grind on, around both sides, full flat. You uh, put black screws in the carbon fiber side of that. One. No, I like no. it. It matches the blade. That's just my weird thing. I'm kind of weird like that. It's got a spine pattern on it, kind of like a gear, like a soft gear pattern. And it's got the really nice blue on there. Since I got my multi-edge working, so now like my anodizing looks a hell of a lot better. Um, 
This one's just really nice too. This is super smooth, nice and centered. Smooth carbon fiber. Polish it up a little bit. This is a really nice grind on this one. I was teaching my buddy how to grind when I was doing this one, so I did a damn good job of it. Even though I was distracted, it turned out good. That one's really nice. Uh, and we got this guy here, just another regular one. Anzo pattern, chisel grind. This one has some weird stuff going on. It's got like a crazy, this line here is like all rainbow from here, like a bronze. It's pretty cool. You gotta see it in person. There's no real way to show it on camera. Uh, backspacer's not finished on this one. So these will probably be going out on Wednesday. Tomorrow I'm gonna be working on them, uh, taking pictures of them with Brian. And uh, Wednesday should be going out. Uh, this one you guys saw, this is one of my favorites too. It's got the hollow grind on it, but it's got the dark flats, or dark grind on it, which I'll probably do on the other ones. Probably not one of them, but it looks really sexy. You guys saw that one already. I uh, showed that one. You got this guy, it's got uh, kind of like a Sabanzo going on there. Uh, it's the only stone wash one I did. Uh, Need some touching up. Uh, backspace is not finished. It's got some nice orange peeled green titanium on that side. This one's really nice too. Another V grind. Uh, and you got a rock pattern, carbon fiber. Really nice. Uh, this one, the pattern goes all the way down the spine on it. It's pretty badass. A little bit on the edges here. Chill grind. Acid wash. Awesome. Now you got this guy. It's got nice bronze scale. Uh, this one's chisel ground as well. Uh, it's got the nice bronze Anzo. Anzo on there. Spine goes down a little bit. And on this side, uh, this one's silver twill. Which I think looks pretty badass with the uh, black liner in there. Everything's dark on it. Except for this scale, just nice and clean pretty classy. Let me know what you think of this one guys because I like it a lot and I know a lot of guys don't like silver twill. I think it looks good if you do it right. And, uh, it looks good on that. Yeah it does look good on this one. <clears throat> My uh, only issue with it is it kind of looks like a bicycle reflector. Yeah, yeah, yeah if you're riding silver your bike twill. you strap it onto your backpack. <laughs> yeah. so, I mean that's just the way silver twill looks. You know? Yeah. The green but, twill even kind of looks like Oh the green like twill is terrible. Too. Oh god. It looks like a green Collector. Yeah, and I leave the smooth finish on the top because it just, I and mean, when you cut into silver toy, it looks terrible. I'm sorry. I don't, I've never seen it look really good. Uh, but it looks nice like this, nice and clean. But that one doesn't have any stone wash at all or anything. It's just nice and flat, gray. Uh, where's that other Warren Cliff? Oh, uh, here's a lightning strike. This one has a scratch pattern. Chisel ground. Scratch pattern looking sexy. Gear pattern on top and, and backspacer. I haven't done this on these yet, and I like it a lot. Probably be doing more of that with the gear pattern. This one has a lightning strike Anzo pattern. Nice. Nothing sticking out or poking. I try to guarantee that. I know it's difficult for some people to work with, but uh, you know, I pretty much eat, sleep, and breathe carbon fiber, so I know how she works. Uh, I got another one natural pattern. Also the gear pattern on the back there. It's got a shallow natural pattern on it. Uh, bronze, just a nice bronze on the side, no scratch pattern. This is a deeper, uh, you can see the coloration there from oils, which looks really nice. This one's nice and clean, I like this one. What else we got? Got another, this one's a diamond pattern. Chisel ground, a little bit of a diamond pattern here. Bronze, standard looking one, really nice. So this one's scratch pattern. Again, this one's actually pretty cool. Uh, this is the unidirectional smooth, which looks really sexy. Uh, it's got no backspacer right now. I'm just fixing that up. It's an option, no backspacer. Yeah, there you go. Ten bucks less. Just kidding. A little standoff down there. So. Chisel ground, and this one has an interesting grind on it. Uh, there's no no swedge, and it's kind of a cool look. It just comes up, swoops around, and it's just it's just really nice and clean looking. And it's just all acid wash here and polished up top. Hands of pattern on there. And then uh, there's two of these. Uh, I don't know which one's going on Blade HQ yet. One's for a friend. Uh, this is a Warncliffe one. This one has an extra large hole on it. I don't know how that happened. Uh, but it's got the gear backspacer, scratch pattern. It's pretty awesome. I like it a lot. 
looks exactly the same uh, when closed, but uh, when you open it up, it's got a little bit of a different look to it. Pretty cool. But yeah, guys, that's that's pretty much all. And there's a couple over there that are in pieces, uh, just getting fixed up. And uh, yeah, so hopefully they'll be out on Wednesday and ready on Friday. I hope. I mean, I don't know exactly what their schedule's like, but uh, yeah, I say you guys pick this one up as soon as possible. This one's awesome. It's my favorite. It's super sharp right there. I gotta dull that a little bit. See a lot more of this in the future. Uh, it's very, it was pretty easy to do with the mill, and uh, just looks a lot cleaner and it's a lot stronger than uh, doing it the way I used to. So super clean grind. So that damn hollow grind is so easy to do. It looks like a like I'm a professional or something. Right, Wance? Yeah. Yeah, buddy. All right, guys. Have a great night. Thanks for watching. Peace.